Hello everyone, my name is Gabriel. In this tutorial, we are going to be learning how to sample data in eViews. Sample are subset of observations in a work file. The data set for this tutorial will be available in the description below. Now, let's open the data set. Click on File, Open, then Foreign Data as Work File. This is the data set here, which will be available in the description link. Open it. You're going to be using the payroll sheet first. Click on finish. No. There are a few different ways to change the work file sample. The first method is to click on sample here. The second method is to double click on the sample here. The third method is to click on PROC and SET SAMPLE. The fourth method is to type SMPL in the command window. This is the command window here. Now let's open the payroll data set. Let's say we need the data set for January 1990 to December 2002. Click on sample, type 90, 90 months, 1, month 1 year is representing January, 2002 month 12, 12 years representing December, click on OK, and okay. sample it. You can also check for the graph. Here's the graph here. 1990. Let's return it back to the full observation. Click on sample. Then type at all. At all. Click on OK. This will show the full data set. Another example, let's say I want to divide the sample from March 1960 to February 1970 and from January 1992 to October 2002. Type 1960 month 3. Month 3 years March 1970 month 2. Month 3 years February 1992 month 1 which is January 2002 month 10 click on ok this is the graph shown here we should know that there's a break in the graph of the series because January 1992 comes right after February 1970 as was specified in the sample box now let's return it back to the full observation Oh, okay. Changing the sample in cross section data. The cross section data is available in the data set by going to the file, open foreign data as work file, you open the data set. Is in the cross section data here? Yeah. No. For the cross section data, suppose we would like to work with a subsample of US states that includes Arizona through Hawaii. To do this, we must set the sample based on their observation order and not by the state identifier. What this means is that click on sample. The order three, this is Arizona here, one, two, three. Third order through Hawaii, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Eleven, then click on OK. Can you see? We also have sample keywords. Sample keywords, if you use special keywords which makes it easier to define sample 
at all refers to the work file range that is including all observations it includes all observations we also have at first at last it includes all observation from first to last we have at first at first it includes the first observation only at last at last it includes the last observation only now this is the period data set compare finish I know so suppose we want to define the sample from the beginning of the work fire range to February 1980 and from January 2005 to the end of the work file click on sample at first Ninety ninety months two two years representing February two thousand and five months one months one year is representing January at last then click on OK so let's check for the graph click on view and graph OK. Now the sample now runs from January 1950, which is denoted by at first, to February 1980, and from January 2005 to May 2012. End of the range denoted by at last. Let's return it back to the full data set. As well. Suppose we like to exclude the last 100 observations from the work file range. Click on sample. Then at first, we are excluding the last 100 observation. At first, at last. Also, we like to include only the last hundred observation only the last hundred observation click on sample type at last hundred at last click on okay as will get asset as precious can you see that thank you